To operate the screen at the front of the classroom, first locate the control panel on the wall to the side of the screen and press the power button. As the screen powers up, make sure the mini PC installed behind it hasn't been turned off. A blue light on its front indicates that it's on. If you find it off, press the button on front of the mini PC to boot it up. You can also plug a flash drive in here to load or save files. To utilize the SmartBoard's whiteboard tools, double tap with your finger on the pen software icon. This is the pen tool selector. Tapping this once will expand the menu to reveal other options, such as using different pens, erasing, and saving your whiteboard material. To reconfigure a pen settings, press that pen's icon when the menu is expanded to reveal its options. These include altering the pen tip, width, color, and translucence. When finished changing settings, press the X in the top right of the options. The same action can be done for the eraser tool by pressing its icon when the menu is expanded to change the size of the eraser or to erase an entire sheet. To add additional pages to the whiteboard, press the plus next to the page number at the bottom center of the screen. Then, using the arrows next to the page number, you can navigate from page to page. To save your whiteboard materials, expand the menu by tapping your pen tool selector, navigate to the second page of the menu, and press Save. This can then be saved to a PDF or image file to any flash drive you have inserted into the mini PC installed behind the screen. When finished using the whiteboard, press the X at the lower right of the screen and select either Save and Exit or Exit Without Saving. This smart board can also be used for general web browsing, YouTube videos, etc. Simply open the browser of your choice, tap in the address bar of the browser, then activate the on-screen keyboard at the left edge of the screen to type in the web address. To hide the keyboard again, just press the X in the top right corner of the on-screen keyboard. You can also enter overlay mode by double tapping on the overlay mode icon on the Windows desktop. This means the pen software can also be used to draw on other applications, such as a web browser, a Word document, or a PowerPoint presentation. To switch back to that original program's functionality, select its icon on the Windows taskbar and then proceed to use it like normal. Then, to switch back to the pen software, tap the pen software icon in the Windows taskbar. When finished using the smart board, power it off using the control panel on the wall. The mini PC behind the smart board, however, should remain powered on for the next class to use.